What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Overwatch 2 and some information that Blizzard has come out with uh, today kind of talking about some of the issues facing Overwatch 2 and a lot of the people in the community have been really upset with how the launch has kind of gone on with uh, Overwatch 2 in general. It's been kind of a pain to get in. Overwatch, the original game, was something I played a good bit when it first came out. Over the years, I've not played as much as I used to, but I definitely want to give Overwatch 2 a try. And I'm going to have a video later down the road talking about kind of how I feel about the game or kind of my thoughts on it just in general. But today, I mainly want to talk about a lot of the issues that Blizzard did address today. And of course, to start off with, a lot of players are having problems with getting in the game. So you're having problems with connection, uh, you know, troubles with accounts, people trying to get in the game and being in a long queue. Then the game was DDoS attack the first day it came out, so it caused even more problems. Also, a lot of people have had some problems with trying to get their account to kind of merge so they can get all their stuff from Overwatch 1 so you can have all your skins and things like that. And that was one of the biggest issues I had. I could not get the merge button to work on PS5. Finally, after this update last night, I did actually get to uh, this to work today. All my stuff has merged. Everything is there now. So that's kind of been ha handled but Blizzard acknowledged many of the issues facing, you know, kind of what the players have seen in the last few days. And they talked about how their update that they put out late last night or late yesterday evening, early this morning for some, uh, kind of working on issues uh, for merging and some other problems, you know, people being seeing in the game. Uh, so they should actually have all their full collections now for everything they had from the original Overwatch if you did play it. Uh, Blizzard also confirmed that the items... Uh, gamers obtained are not lost, but it may take additional time for some accounts to merge as many requests are still in the queue. So if you do not see everything that you have just yet, like when I did when I did mine, I saw a few things start popping up and then all of a sudden when it was finally done, you know, I had everything. But like I could go to a character, I'd see a couple skins, but not all the skins I had originally. They also went on to talk about matchmaking in Overwatch 2. They said that they're uh, have to wait before they can get into matchmaking, but it's changing system configuration is the hope for shortening the duration of, I think, just kind of everything. Getting into the game, getting into matches, all that good stuff. It says the development team is keeping an eye on the matchmaking queues over the weekend to try to find out some possible improvements. Also, they're talking about, you know, fixes for crashes, black screens, and users not getting access to the items they purchased. Uh, they acknowledge that console players who bought the Waypoint Pack may not see their items in game and mention that it mostly affects the PlayStation user base only. They also have made a fix uh, ready for this and plans to deploy it sometime today. So there should be another update. It's probably going to be some kind of, you know, back end update. Nothing we have to download, kind of like last night's for some of the problems with the merging of their accounts. But a lot of these technical problems Blizzard's trying to work through. Uh, and they said some of them they will have to have, uh, you know, future updates for it. So we may actually get a actual downloadable update here in the next few, uh, few days excuse me to fix some of these queue problems or whatever the case may be it is a enjoyable game when you get in it's very frustrating though because it's hard to get in the game uh, the first few days it was out I pretty much just gave up because sometimes I would log in get on the screen and it would be like 90,000 to 100,000 players in the queue I'm definitely not going to sit there and wait on that it would be all night and probably still wouldn't get in and then sometimes you could get in fairly quickly and the game would kick you right out so it has been a frustrating thing to try to play at times but the games i've gotten to play i've gotten to play probably i'm gonna say five or six hours of overwatch 2 and i really have enjoyed what i have experienced so far of course it's going to take a lot more play time to really see how the game works and how everything is going to play out in the future with all these issues that we are having right now hopefully blizzard can get these fixed but i want to make kind of this video for a quick update to let everyone know about exactly what blizzard was talking about today and kind of what they fixed overnight last night and what they're planning on fixing later on today Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.